G'day guys, welcome back. Look, a three flip and drag today. Woohoo! Haven't done one for ages. I've been doing blooms. So I'll give the blooms a break for a little bit because everyone's saying, do some flip cups. So I will. Um, Montmart paint, which I usually use, they've got a few new colours now and they've also got a new bottle. This is it here. This one's pink. And down the bottom there, see the little circle? I asked them to do this, so I'm so glad they finally did it. Opaque. See the little circle down there? It's coloured in. That's opaque. So that's pink. Doing pinks and purples today. This one's purple. See the little circle? It's half coloured in. Semi opaque or semi transparent. I don't think they've actually got any transparents, which would be a circle not coloured in at all. But I don't think they've got any. I think they're all opaques or semis, which isn't a lot of difference in the densities. So, yeah, not a lot. When you go up in um, price range, you'll find that the, the colours have a lot more, shoo, <laughs> a lot more difference in their densities. Uh, you know, have transparents, um, semi-transparents, opaques, and there'll be a huge difference between them. These are probably not very different at all. Um... It makes a difference to your cells. I'm not going to get into all that now. Uh, spot on treadmill silicone for cells, as usual. This is a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas. One, two, three. I won't do the black and the white. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Actually, let's go four. We'll go four in each, except the black and the white. So I've got three opaques because this one's opaque it's obviously just a pink with white added to it and white being opaque which means that the paint is opaque and I just have to make sure that I don't put the two opaques next to each other because I won't get rings around my cells if I do that I need the opaque to be next to a semi opaque for me to get rings around my cells otherwise I just like blobs, just bullets of colour with no rings around them if you have two opaques next to each other. Like, say, these two together. I don't think you'd get rings. We could do an experiment, but I really don't think that you would. Uh, pouring medium is my usual 60% glue, 40% water, and then I've added one part of the pouring medium to one part of paint. So, white, purple, pink, plum, black, magenta. So, that, yeah, there's a few new colours around now with the Montmarts. They have a pump on the top and you have to pump like that. I don't like that at all. Um, so I just take the pump off and pour the paint into a little jar and then I use it like that. So I'll do two layers of each. So if you don't want to watch me layer paint, now is the time to fast forward and catch up with me after I flip them. But if you want to watch me layer paint, then stick around. <laughs> we can chat. I feel as if you guys are here with me, chatting with me. And I'll do a live, but I have to work out how to do it. I don't know how to do them. Like set them up. Not sure. I'll have to look into it. I don't know that I can read all those comments while I'm trying to concentrate on pouring. It's got to be tricky, don't you think? Now my black. So I, most of you know by now, I'm a nurse. I work at a private hospital just 10 minutes from me. And the Prime Minister yesterday said that as of midnight last night, they were stopping all elective surgeries. Now me, being a nurse who works in recovery and, and the day hospital, um, doing elective cases, I look after patients that have elective surgery because we don't do, or I don't do emergencies where I am, um, so, yeah, they're saying that they're going to cease those except for Category 1 cases, which are, you know, 
serious. Like, you know, if a, if a woman finds a lump in her breast, you know, obviously they're not going to say, oh, we can't take that lump out for you and check it. You know, we're going to do it. So cases like that, we will do, you know, um, things that can't wait. Whereas, you know, things like maybe dental surgery, hips, knees, replacements, things like that that can wait. We won't be doing those. Which means I may be out of work or hours drastically reduced. So not sure yet. I did two shifts this week. Um, and now today's Thursday and I'm not rostered on again until next Monday. Hopefully they won't ring and cancel me because, you know, I've got mortgage to pay. So we'll see. I know it's difficult times for everyone. Everyone's in the same boat, really, worldwide. Most, a lot of us have been put off, have lost their jobs. My daughter, Gemma, who works in hospitality while she studies at uni, she's lost her job. Um, my son's fiance, Tash, she works in hospitality. She's lost her job. So, you know, I'm lucky that I still have a job, for now anyway. So, but I, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for watching my videos, because that, that one cent per video that I get for you watching my video, I, I really appreciate that, and you know, every little bit helps. And now that most people are staying home and isolating themselves, Pop the kettle on, lie on the couch, put my channel on and have a Julie marathon, hey? <laughs> Catch up on some pouring tips while we're all stuck inside. And hopefully you'll enjoy it and, you know, it'll help me. So, there we go. We all help each other. We will certainly come through this on the other end. Right, nearly finished my layering. Look at that, nearly finished. My black feels a little bit thicker. Whenever I use black of the Montmartre, I put in 10 grams less black because it's always thick. And when I use white, I always put in 10 grams more white because it always seems to be quite thin. And that's just, you know, I've been using Montmartre for so long now, I've, I've got used to it. I know which colors I have to thicken and which ones I have to thin. All right. Let's go with the last colour, magenta. And our government is helping those uh, who have lost their jobs, but uh, only single people. So if you're single and you lose your job, you will get help from the government. If I lose my job, I won't get any help from the government because I have a husband that works. So, yeah, it's a bit different, eh? I'd have to become single all of a sudden <laughs> to get some help. Oh, dear. All right, here we go. One. Two. I'm sorry if it's shaking the table. Three. I've got my tripod just there out of frame. It's on the table. So every time I shake the table probably going to be shaking you. I did stir my silicone, didn't I? Oh, I must have. I've been talking so much. I, I look back and I go, did I, did I stir my silicone? I must have. Gee, I hope so. <laughs> I sprayed my cups with some silicone spray just to let the paint flow out nicely so I don't leave too much behind. And yeah, I thought pinks and purples would be nice for a change because I do blue so often. And I want to do a flip and lip like Karen does from Waterfall Acrylics. I've never done one. So I'm, I'll, I will do one coming up. And she flips it over and then she runs the lip of the cup through. So I'm going to try that, see what happens. I don't really like ribbon pores when I do ribbons because they get cells in the ribbon. And um, they look weird. They're kind of half in the stripe and half out of the stripe and they look a bit weird so I don't tend to do it but I will have a go. I'll be doing lots of videos coming up. <laughs> right here we go. Oh pretty colours. Don't run off. Please don't run off. 
And don't pour what's in there back out here, will you? It's not worth it. You'll get stripes. See those that I've poured out? See how stripy it is? You don't want that in the middle of your painting. It's okay to use it on the edge because the edges are going to go off anyway. And you'll look in there and go, oh, but there's still paint in there. Leave it. Don't pour it out. Just leave it. You make up extra paint so that you can leave those extra bits in there. We're loving those colours. Whoops. Come down a bit. Just put that there. I'm going to tip it off anyway. But yeah, don't fill these in. You'll be disappointed with the end result. Move that out of the way. It's looking good so far. I know that I've got my consistency right if I'm getting a few cells popping up straight away. Oops, we're stuck. We're stuck to the puppy pedal pad. Yes, yeah, so I know that that's good. If you're not getting them up straight away, your mix may be a little bit too thick and you may get some flocculation or some furry looking cells. All right, here we go. Walk, walk left and right, left and right. Plenty of paint. I'm use my little corner catcher. So I don't want too much to go off there just yet. Bring the paint back before you take that away, otherwise it'll all fall off the edge. Okay, so now I don't need that corner catcher again. What's that? Is that a bubble? No. Big blob of unmixed paint. Get off. Black unmixed paint. Um... Now, there's a little bit of a stripey there. I'm not going to worry about it for now. So this is where we turn around. And just bring the paint back to the middle a little bit. Oops, I'm not in my frame. Now I torch. Don't want to really cover the whole surface and then torch because you'll already have covered it and you'll thin the paint out and then you won't be able to stretch your cells because you stretch the cells by, you know, tilting the paint around. So leave yourself some room to stretch your cells. Up high, don't get too close, go around in little circles. I'm going to turn this off for a sec. Don't do that with your paint, with your torch, okay? Even if it's a little torch, don't do that. Gently round like this. Not so close, but gently. Otherwise you get these big clumps and you're most likely going to get caterpillars as well. You get like a cell city, huge amount of cells. I just want a sprinkling of cells. Not too many, not a big cluster. So go around once nice and high. You can always go over it again, maybe get a little bit closer, but just keep going in circles at the same height. Don't drop down with your torch as if you're throwing a dart at it because then you're going to get big clusters of cells. I just go around in little circles. You know, I'll go through around three or four times because I don't need any more there, but I still need some there. So this is where I'll go again, maybe a little bit closer. Not too close. Because once you've over torched, that's it. You can't take the cells back. They're there for good. No coming back from that. Whoops. Oh, see, I got too close there. I'm going, I haven't got anything coming up in the black. I got too close. And then that's when you get the caterpillars. See what I mean? Prime example of getting too close is getting the big cell city and um, your caterpillars. 
so don't do that. Sometimes if your paint's a little bit on the thick side, you tend to have to get closer to bring the oil up to the surface. Um, in, in this case, I probably did make them a little bit too thick. Um, not too bad. This is a cute little centipede there. Look at that. Anyway, let's get going, hey? Now, I don't need to use the quarter catcher again. I'm just going to walk my paint back and forth till it goes over the edge. Get rid of a little bit of those caterpillars there. Oh, it's very stripy, isn't it? So as you can see, I've covered everywhere, but um, the cells are quite small. And that is A, because my mix may be a little bit on the thick side, or B, I covered too much of the surface before I tilted. So let me go back the other way and see if I can get some of these blobby bits. Oh, but then see, that's the pink. See if I can go the opposite way. A little bit, just to open up some of my cells. That'll stretch everything out a little bit. <laughs> I'm swaying with it. Back and forth, back and forth. Now the cells up here, or down there to you, but up there for me, they're smaller than these ones over here. So I'm going to bring everything back a little bit. I'll try and get some of that off there. Yeah, my mix, I think, is a little bit on the thick side because my cells are still quite small, but they are very pretty cells. I'm going to torch a little bit. Oh, look at the mess I'm making. Torch a little bit in that black area. I think next time I will use half the amount of black because, you know, it is quite, quite strong. I just want some cells there and sort of through the black there. Hopefully I'll get some pink coming through that all that black there it's quite a dark little corner whoa I got too close again naughty girl see what happens when you get too close you get a run of cells caterpillars whereas you get a little bit further away you just get a sprinkling now I need to stretch those out so let's just walk them a little bit. I don't mind if they stay smaller than all the others, but I just want to walk them and get them to open up a little bit. And now that I've opened up this area here, I want some more cells just there. See, I can do this because I've got plenty of paint on the surface just here, not too close, I'm trying to torch it but not get too close, okay, all right, that's looking better, that torching, look at the white, the white that's come through, that's better, I'm liking that better now, no, they're smaller that's okay right, I think I'll probably leave it about there just move those around a little bit that's just going to open up those little ones that I've just torched make sure you go ziggy zaggy don't just go up and down because then they'll elongate you want them to stay round look at the mess I've made Right, there we go. And I'm going to leave it at that. Those little cells that have popped up afterwards are really, really pretty. I'll show you in a minute. Really pretty. Got some really good cells. We're getting a little bit of a, 
a grayish tinge in some areas um, you know like here where the white has gone over the black uh, and that's to be expected but I think next time I do these colors I will just cut down on the black just a touch that's, wow, those love those colours. Let me just turn my bright light off. My ring light. Because when I take you down for a close-up, you can actually see the ring. Always reminds me of the ring, the movie, when I say that. <laughs> I love those movies. All right, down the ladder. Right, let's start over here. So this is that area that's kind of greyish. It's got that white haze over the top of the black. And then around here. Now, I don't know if you saw my other video where I did the blues. <clears throat> I did the dirty paw. But I wasn't getting much in the way of white to come through. Now, my... Mix is a little bit thicker this time and I've layered them so the, the white cells, the rings around them are much more dominant. Oops, focus you again. It's quite stripy, isn't it? We've got purple, we've got pink, we've got that pale pink and more magenta and then the black and then the magenta and then the purple and all these different shades. I don't know how to make my camera keep focusing. Now these are really pretty against the black background. Now these, the little ones that I did afterwards, look how cute they are. Really pretty. Now you can see what I mean about the opaque and the semi transparent see the whites and opaque the magenta in the middle is a semi-transparent so we've got the opaque ring around the semi-transparent color really pretty same up here oops we're gonna get a bit glary up here not quite as bright but the white rings around the purple there as well and there so that's what you get when you put your transparent next to your opaque. It's always a good idea to do that. Don't put two opaques next to each other. Alrighty, it's a little bit busy, but it's pretty. <laughs> I love it. I like doing these uh, and the purples and the pinks with turquoise as well. So I might do that next time and um, cut down on the black a little bit. I mean, the black is really dramatic there in the center, but um, just over on the edge there where it's going a little bit sort of grayish. Don't love that. But there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. What will I do next? <laughs> I have still got a few more spin blooms to do, a few more um, placemats, but I will be doing more flip cups for you because you like them and I like them. All right. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you all real soon. Bye for now.